air barriers versus vapor barriers. Most professionals in our industry will acknowledge that the concept of vapor control is difficult, so it's not really surprising that there's confusion surrounding vapor barriers. But what's interesting is that the root of a lot of that confusion has to do with some incorrect assumptions, not about vapor control, but about air control and the role of air barriers in our buildings. Most of us assume that our primary interest in controlling air in our building enclosures is related to comfort and energy efficiency. And this is true. Airtight buildings are much more energy efficient and tend to be much more comfortable than leaky buildings. And by more comfortable, I mean that they're more thermally comfortable, they're more acoustically comfortable, and they have better indoor air quality, less dust, less pollen and allergens. These are obviously really important things and we're completely correct to highlight these advantages of air control. But many of us stop there and we shouldn't. Air control is also important for condensation control and that's a completely different design goal related to building durability.